response surface basic the basic design behind the response surface is the central composite design now what is a central composite design in a two square or two to the power k design we have k number of factors and each of these factors have two levels um, so two square design is like that now when i when we have only two levels just low um, level and then high level of x1 and then uh, low level of x2 and high level of x2 so if we have only two levels with two points we can only make a straight line we cannot test whether there is any curvature effect or not now what is commonly done to test the second order or third order effect of each of these independent variable on the response variable in this case one of the example we use in the class was temperature and humidity so temperature and humidity so is there any quadratic or cubic effect of temperature on human comfort so if we are interested in that then we need to have three levels if we have three points we can probably make a we can see a so this is one point another point we can see a curvature effect like this so we can draw a curve out of three points the way it is done is one center point is added and then um, two axial points are added for each um, variable so for example this x1 coordinates we can think of like it this is an x1 coordinates so this is one axial point this is another axial point so for each of these variables two axial points are added so that makes total four axial points the way to count the number of axial points that are added so if we have three um, variable experiments x1 x2 x3 then you need six um, axial points so the total number of axial points so number of axial points some books call this star points star points not a start star s t a r star points so total number of star points is equal to the um, number of variable times 2 so basically 2k now then if you uh, replicate these experiments for multiple times so basically 2k times ns ns is the number of replication for the star points or uh, or the actual points now uh, these points we have seen before are called corner points so corner points the number of corner points they are also we can calculate that um, well we cannot exactly calculate the total number of corner points for a full replication is 2 to the power k if you remember that now for half half fraction of the design the total number of experiment ne we need is 2 to the power k minus 1 for a quarter fraction we need 2 to the power k minus uh, 2 for a quarter one so in generalize in general uh, if we to, to, to generalize this we can write the total number of corner point we need is 2 to the power k minus f so k is the number of factor f is if is the half fraction of the experiment then f is 1 is the quarter fraction of the experiment then f is 2 and so on so the corner point total number of corner points are like that now if we have replicates for corner points let's say and c is the number of replicates then this would be the total number of corner points this is the number of axial points and typically in the center points always always people um, do replication at least four replications so the center points and zero at least four replication the reason why we want to do replication in the center point is we want to um, measure the experimental error now if we just measure one if we just have one point we cannot have experimental error so we need at least more than one to measure the experimental error for the uh, cubic effect uh, quadratic effect so to measure 
the quadratic effect or square effect x square effect we need um, at least n or greater than one at least two points to matter the error once we know the error then we can purely uh, statistically say whether these x variables or x2 or x3 has any quadratic effect on the response y so uh, typically it is done all the time let's let's just explain this so for a uh, this table basically represents um, for a 2 to the power k design so 2 is square we need 4 star points or axial points and we need 4 uh, center uh, corner points so the total number of and then 4 center points so total is 12 for a 2 cube design we need total 8 corner points and then 6 axial points and then uh, 4 uh, center points so so 4 plus 6 plus 8 is 18 so for example 2 uh, to the power 5 minus 1 that's a half fraction uh, of a 5 variable uh, which is uh, 16 and then 16 plus 10 is uh, 26 and then plus 4 um, center point so that's 30 we can calculate this way now let me explain what is this rotatability alpha what is alpha now we can run this central composite design in two different format one is for alpha value one how this alpha value one came now if you look at this it is set um, minus one middle zero and then plus one now each of these axial points is one unit from here as you can see this is one unit from the zero so this axial point is one unit from the uh, center so how much away are these axial points from the center so if this uh, one away from the center then there is alpha equals one now one of the most efficient use of this design is not using alpha equals one um, it 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 does in a way so that all of these axial points fall on a circle like this uh, this is a circle excuse my drawing but all of these center points so it is done in a way so they fall on a circle the advantage of circle is we cannot rotate this design so it's kind of symmetric it it's very flexible so to do that if you look at this this distance is root 2 how this distance is square root 2 so this is 1 so that's 1 and then that is 1 2 so this would be square root of 1 is square plus 1 is square which is square root of 2 so this is how this thing comes square root of 2 is 1.414 now there is a general formula that we can use to um, find out this uh, um, alpha value for um, for each of these designs the formula for this is alpha equal to um, 2 to the power k minus f times the number of corner point divided by number of axial points and then power of one fourth so just to see for that um, 2 is square design so alpha equals if the replic 2 is square is 2 is square and no fraction possible for 2 is square and then number of corner uh, replication let's say one no replication and then actual points let's say no replication that is one and then one by four so two is square four basically so that's equal to then square root of two now you can test with three factors four factors and so on and you can calculate these uh, values now uh, what is this value actually um, uh, in 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 reality what that thing represent now if you remember the temperature and 
the um, humidity example i think the lowest temperature we used was zero uh, degree fahrenheit and then assume that the highest was used 80 degree fahrenheit so the middle x zero is basically would be uh, 40 degree fahrenheit now if we want to get a point alpha value um, this point for example which is 1.14 away then um, I think we'll explain that in the next video this video is getting a little bit off topic so what we wanted to measure actually discuss in this video is basically how to create a central composite design now why uh, do you need actually this center composite design now if you see this a lot of times um, For example in this humidity temperature example, I think it was 70 degree uh, and 35 percent humidity was found the most comfortable is statistically uh, significantly comfortable um, combination of humidity and temperature however a lot of times it is um, not really econom economical to just say one single number for temperature one single humidity maybe it is cheaper to just set a wide range of temperature between 65 to 75 something like that now if you see this reason the comfortable so this is the comfort axis this is humidity axis and this is the temperature axis as you can see for a wide range of areas people feel almost statistically similar comfort so instead of setting 70 degree we can actually set from some range of temperature instead of setting 35 degree we can set a uh, range of humidity so it is very important uh, if we fit a response surface then uh, we will be able to see that um, reason of optimum areas instead of just one single number so that is one of the main reason why you do uh, response surface design now let's go check some basic layouts as you know we have created this before in excel um, many times so you know how to do that the new thing added was the axial points and the center point so these are the axial uh, points or star points like a star in the sky and this is the center point so this is for three variables with t levels and this one was created for uh, four variables with uh, two level each and for four, four variables alpha value is uh, two you can go back to the uh, previous formula or table to calculate that so four variables alpha value is two so this is the basic um, um, layout for the design what I un actually wanted to explain for the um, actual level in the earlier discussion that we have zero here let's say this is temperature temperature and arrow minus one plus one we said zero degree fahrenheit is the lowest and that was the 80 degree fahrenheit so middle would be 40 degree fahrenheit now for an axial point let's say the point here for two square design that was a two square design for this the alpha value was 1.414 or square root of two now to so this distance is 40 so the actual point this distance we can calculate the actual point by just multiplying 40 times the square root of 2 that would be let me get my calculator I'll be back so 40 times 2 square root so that is I found 56.56 plus another 40 so the actual point actual point here if I just draw here this point is basically 96.5685 minus 80 
and then the one of the outside to the left side this is another axial point that is basically uh, so that's 40 degree Fahrenheit this fellow in fact is negative 16.56 so that's zero that's negative 16.56 degree Fahrenheit so in the earlier page I wanted to explain that how to calculate this distance uh, or this actual point so uh, whenever you see this experiment so for example x1 is the temperature variable minus 1 means 0 degree Fahrenheit basically instead of minus 1 and then plus 1 was 80 degree Fahrenheit 0 was 40 degree and then minus alpha was 16 point minus 16.56 degree Fahrenheit and then plus alpha was 96.56 degree Fahrenheit so um, you know how to convert that simply just multiply this this actual distance with whatever alpha value you have based on the design so if you have this alpha value just multiply that with 2.378 and then you can get um, this basic layouts and use excel to create all of this uh, basic uh, design for central composite design uh, to create response surface. Now in Minitab can do all of this automatically for you. I'll show you in other videos. Check those out.